so uh, in this vlog, we're going to uh, talk about the Cripple Club. <laughs> well, you know, I've never, I've never been known for anything other than my um, horrible bad taste at times, I suppose. But no, I, um, we, well, Sue and uh, Shara and I have been chatting for a while, and Shara and I were chatting about um, how, well, basically, Sue and I had met this guy called Andy thompson and he's bloody brilliant he gave me loads of helpful tips and i was saying to sue how useful it is that cripples give each other tips i use the word cripple not in a derogatory term just to we clear can that say up. it because we are we are well we can say it because we are and do you know what i i it's as stupid as it sounds i prefer the word okay. cripple to the word disabled. disabled because there's people out there that aren't disabled that do less than us so does that make us disabled or does that make them disabled? We're just crippled with pain. Exactly. Constantly. So that's we're, why we're crippled. We're, that's why it's we're crippled, crippled with pain and we're crippled with stress and anxiety. But you know, I prefer the word cripple and we're reclaiming it in a good way. So damn it, it's the cripple club. It's the cripple club. But um, yeah, I was talking to Sue about um, how nice it is to kind of get that support, and then um, obviously Sue introduced me to Shaw. And um, I well, we were talking about and Andy came well, lady... around the corner, didn't he? he yeah, around the corner when we were talking about it. And then I, I met Shar and we kind of had a chat about it all. And then um, between us all, we decided that actually would be a really good idea if you kind of we well we're going to put the feelers out and see if anybody else wants to join our cripple club. And it's uh, it's more of a kind of it's a supportive environment where we can swap tips and helpful, useful things for each other, but also we can. Boy. talk to each other in an understanding environment with people that actually get it because sometimes you just need to talk to someone that understands what you mean and how painful things can be and how hard it is to cope at times so the idea is is by setting up so that uh, a club that's the then, plan <laughs> then there's three of you to start off with and as time goes on if people are interested and they want to come along and more than welcome yeah more than welcome yeah so at the moment Share there's the there, there's you there's fee there's sue, sue and there's Shah. Yeah. And not forgetting Apple. Apple. Apples. Little Apple. So, um, how did you meet Sue? <laughs> <laughs> Big foghorn. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Sue met my voice before she met me. <laughs> um, it was funny, actually. The um, When I had that horribly stressful incident with that terribly ignorant man in the market who treated me really badly and was so ignorant purely because I I was in a wheelchair um see me as he spoke to everyone else with common decency and so I got a bit upset so I was yelling because unfortunately with my PTSD I can either go from hysterical panicking or um very angry and aggressive and turns out when that happened to me I kind of got on the angry scale you did so you got you got loud you the foghorn fee came out yeah so and of course foghorn <laughs> fee you could probably have heard over at the far side of salisbury well, which attract which it, attracted it, sue's yeah. attention it lured sue like some kind well, so of what, what, <laughs> so why did you come over sue i went over i was going back to the car park anyway where the taxi rank is and um people have hard enough in wheelchairs but when people are in wheelchairs and they just want you to move because they they're entitled, just yeah, get out of my way. I'm special. You don't need to have patience like other people and all that yeah. sort of stuff. I think that's terrible. Yeah, I'm more important. I've so got I've I. got something wrong with me. I'm more important, so you you can yeah. all work around me. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a really ignorant point of view. Mm. It is there's a very, so there are people, people that have like that. A yeah, lot of people like yeah. That. yeah, I'm disabled, therefore I'm special. So yeah, you thought I used there was to work, I'm disabled, I used to therefore I have no manners. And I've worked with a few people that have been yeah. been like that, and they're like that from birth. Yeah, it's, some people just have a bad I'll attitude, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, so, some people don't like you for the colour of your skin or uh, the colour of your hair. Yeah. Some people or don't like that you're sitting in a wheelchair. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you're different, or you've got an assistance dog. Yeah. Yep. If you're different, you're different, and some people can't accept different. They no. really can't accept different. Um. So yeah, Sue thought there was some dickhead mouthing off, making mm -hmm. us cripples look fucking uselessly annoying and entitled so she came over to tell me to sort my shit out mm -hmm. <laughs> and um and then yeah, i ended I up said, can you not just go around yeah and then it's i ended right, up saying well you know i'd love to go around but unfortunately i wanted to go into shoe zone and i can't get into shoe zone because he's got his van there and he's not moving it so 
I, I so I explained it all um, and I, I probably did it in a rather loud voice because I was stressed at the time I do oh, apologise yes. you did explain years. to the gentleman yes, that you yes. have post-traumatic stress so and you've got these disabilities and, and all I wanted it was just a, move, and so do you know what the worst thing was it was a two minute job two minute job and in the, he yeah, wanted to me to wait bar, like that much so you could get into a shop mm -hmm. to buy shoes I mean but it also blocked up for everybody pushing buggies and yeah, things babies. as well oh, um, and fire yeah. risk <clears throat> I mean, think so, if there was a fire or something, God forbid. So yeah, yeah. so you, so your uh, your your voice attracted Sue, and then um, yeah, then you made friends on Facebook. Well, and funnily enough, afterwards. after I'd had that conversation with Sue, Sue joined in, telling the gentleman that he's a bit of a an arsehole and maybe he should just move his car for a second. So <coughs> then I spoke to the ladies in the shop. So I asked them if they'd phone the market stall people, mm. yeah. and I think that's when she phoned him, and then he turned up, but. And the first thing it he took did when he turned up. five minutes yeah. before the market inspector got there and asked him to move it's it to get two seconds. And do you know what the worst bit was? The first thing he did was ask you to stop filming before he even tried to sort anything out. Yeah, we so, sorted that one out. Yeah, but well, of course, because it's our right. And not only is it our right, yeah, exactly. but we wanted to show how bad it was because we wanted to try and demonstrate to the market. Um, um, inspectors that uh, it's, it's it happens regularly yeah. and the one yeah. thing we have found with um, with making vlogs mm -hmm. is that well a it's quite fun to actually make them but also I'm learning to get more relaxed I'm a bit nervous still but around the cameras but I'm trying I'm trying yeah, I'm but it also people, it, people, it, it changes yeah. people's attitude because the minute you get a cat you know something that's filming them oh yeah they start to realise yeah, yeah. there's a record and because of, exactly because there's a record they have to behave you've got to justify yourself with your behaviour so mm. you, you end up being a lot better yeah so anyway, so now uh, you've expanded your friend group. So now there's the well, the trilogy, the trilogy of cripples. Well, you see, Sue yeah. brought along Sue brought along uh, Shah. So I, yeah. I met Shah, and um, like Sue, I had the the weird affinity of the sitting down and feeling like we'd known each other for years, having yeah. only just met each other. So can't help but think, in a very hippy trippy way, I suppose it's made bodies yeah. coming through that the universe, Which, the universe wanted us to come together for yes. a good reason, even yeah. if it was just to help each other, but. Um, but we can help other people. Share in our home life as well. Yeah. yeah. So, so watch this space for uh, for more information on Cripple Club. Yeah. Enjoy Say that. goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.